Everyone, please rest to their feet, please.
Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord who forgives all our sins. Bless the God, the creator of heaven and all things, and bless his kingdom now and forever. Let us receive Bishop Wayne L. Johnson. Let's give God a praise this evening. Let's give God a praise at Mount Calvary. You got a praise. Send up a praise tonight. When the praises go up, when the praises go up, oh, the blessings come down. You may standing as we come to celebrate. Amen. On this evening, lift up and glorify the name of our Lord. We're going to have the invocation by Pastor Kathy Griffin. After the invocation, we're going to have the Old Testament reading by Minister Larry Powell, Psalm 119, 1 through 7. And then we'll have the reading of the uh, epistles by Elder Dolores. Uh, Lumsey, and uh, lastly, we'll have the reading of the gospel after we have the hymn of praise. So actually, you may be seated, and um, we will um, come back for the hymn of praise, and we will stand for the gospel. Give God a high praise, everybody. Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go into a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you right now, God, for what you're about to do on tonight, oh God. God, we celebrate, oh God, on tonight, oh God, this elevation service, oh God. We honor you, oh God, and you get all the glory on tonight, oh God. God, we came out, oh God, on your word, oh God, and on your promise, oh God. And therefore, oh God, we celebrate, oh God, what you have done and what you're about to do, oh God, on tonight, oh God. Bless these that came out, oh God, to hear from you, oh God. We receive it, oh God, and we thank you right now. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'll be reading Psalms 119, verses 1 through 7. Hallelujah. Would you please stand for the reading of the word, please? Amen. We're reading from the King James Version. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do iniquity. They walk in this way. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. This shall I not be ashamed when I have respect to all thy commandments. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart, and I shall have learned thy righteousness, righteous judgments. That is the reading of God's blessed word. Amen. I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers, and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. But you be watchful in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. Oh, hallelujah. 
Oh, hallelujah. How to reach the masses, men of every birth, for an answer Jesus gave the key. He said, if I, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. We're going to sing the hymn of the church. How to reach the masses, men of every birth, for an answer Jesus gave the king. Oh, yes. He said, if I, if I be Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because the word which I have spoken to you abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself 
lest it abide in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine and you are the branches. He who abides in me <clears throat> bear much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. Anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me and my word abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. As the Father loved me, I also love you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you that my joy may remain in you and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. 12 verses of 15th chapter of John. May the Lord add blessing to the reading of his word and sanctify that word in our hearts. Let's give God a high praise for the scripture tonight. Give God a high praise for a high word. A high praise for a high word. Oh, hallelujah. God bless you. you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Tonight we are ecstatic be in Mount Calvary Missionary Church and for the purpose that we're here. What I want to do right now, I just want to establish a protocol. It's time we want to uh, honor our presiding prelate tonight and chief celebrant in the person of Apostle M. Maurice Garland. Give God a praise for Apostle Garland tonight. Amen. That's presiding over these most sacred ceremonies, amen, tonight. And uh, none of this would happen or could happen without the sanction of our pastor and apostle Brenda Lumsey Hicks. Give God a praise for our host, our apostle, the woman of God. Come on, give God praise tonight, amen. The way God is the mastermind is she impregnated her with vision and purpose tonight. So we honor these leaders of the church uh, to the uh, catechizing committee tonight to uh, Reverend Edward E. Ruffin, Pastor Kathy Griffin. Come on, give God a high praise. Over here, Justin Coleman, who is also serving as our ceremonialist. Amen. Our accident general tonight. Amen. For our singers tonight, singing. Our niece and all the musicians. Amen. I'm just getting it out the way. Amen. We appreciate everyone, even in the house. And last but not uh, least uh, to the honoree tonight. Amen. Marcella Roland. Come on, give for Marcella tonight. That we honor her tonight. As she elevated tonight, we honor our pastor, our bilingual pastor here at Mount Cow. Hallelujah. Oh my God, this is, this is 
awesome as we gathered from far and near to hear from everywhere. I look out in the congregation. We stretch as far west as the west coast. Amen. Not the Cornet, somebody say, but all the way California. Amen. Down south, up north. Amen. Up south. Amen. Wherever you are here tonight at Mount Calvary for this wonderful uh, occasion. This time we're going to, you already feel welcome because the Holy Ghost has made us welcome. But amen. At this time, Elder K. Styles is going to come and give us the official welcome at the service after the uh, welcome by Elder Styles, the uh, MCMC praise team is going to come and give us the pleasure. Hallelujah! 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 We come tonight just to praise God, hallelujah. And I stood to welcome you, and as Bishop Johnson already said, I'm sure you feel welcome. But we are here to give you an official a wel welcome, and we're, we welcome you here to do whatever the Holy Spirit lays on your heart to do. If you got to run, run. If your wig fall off, let it fall off. But we still going to praise God, amen. And, it, and we're here at the MC. See our apostle, we just welcome and we love, love, love. We just love on people, and we do welcome you to here to celebrate our bilingual pastor, Pastor Roland. It is an absolute pleasure, a pleasure. And I want to just say this: I know I'm going to welcome, but she came in running. Pastor Roland came in running. And we welcome her. We love, and we love you. Just do whatever the Lord lays on your heart to do. You're welcome.
you do it, don't do it. Lord, don't do it without me. This is a beautiful season. My God, we got to touch of some of the last two days. Amen. It's a beautiful season. I want you to know it's a season of blessing that God is doing so many things for us. And tonight we have get for divine purpose. And we're going to have understanding about purpose in life. Amen. So just to make it clear and plain, uh, Elder Ruff is going to come back again. And he is going to give us our statement, amen, of purpose, amen, wow, we, we know we're here for praise and worship, to celebrate, amen, our pastor-elect Roland, but we're here to lift up Jesus and uh, Elder Ruffin, come on and give us our statement, amen, of purpose. Give God a high praise. Our purpose here tonight is first of all to praise the Lord. Because if it was not for him, wouldn't any of this be possible? But we thank God tonight as our purpose here tonight is to ordain and install the leader, the watch person, the caregiver of the bilingual congregation. In this ministry. To give insight, instruction, and direction to all. It was part of the founder's vision that is now coming to fruition to have a bilingual service within this ministry to serve all. Our motto here at Mount Calvary Church is everybody is somebody. This is our purpose. Oh, this is beautiful, amen. What a wonderful purpose. As I said, the founder of this great, amen, ministry, it was his purpose, amen, that the gospel will go out to all the world. And now it's not just uh, English, but all nations. The, 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 those can speak Spanish and, and other languages. I guess that's why we're speaking German and, and Italian and French and Russian and amen. This is the house of the Lord, amen. This is the Lord's doing. And it's marvelous in our sight. God will raise up someone like Pastor Lech Roland come with the bilingual services, amen. Because from one blood, God made all nations. Red, yellow, black, or white, amen. It's only one church, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and we're one in him. So I thank God for the vision of our visionary, amen, Apostle Lumsey, amen, for Lumsey Hicks for allowing such a thing to take place in our midst. But this time is the part where we all are going to share in our overseer and pastor, Justin Coleman, is coming. And a, a service of this magnitude to gather these many elders and, and people of God from far and near. It takes, do me, it takes finance. Somebody say amen. And so, amen. We're going to sow seed tonight. This, this, this is a beautiful day to sow. This is a beautiful day to sow. Amen. Give and it shall be given to you in good measure. Press down, shake it together, and run it over. Come on, Pastor Coleman, and give us direction. But we're going to get behind what the man of God gives us tonight, how he leads us. Amen. And we're going to be a blessing to this house. Why? Because it's more blessed to give than to receive.
Jesus tonight. I said we honor Jesus tonight. Who's the lover of our soul? Who's the captain of our sea? And we're here tonight for the licensing and the installing of our pastor Roland. Come on, let's honor God for the woman of God. So that we can, let me have this a little more. I'm going to digress so that we can receive the offering because Apostle is here tonight and he has an amazing word for us. But when I say this, you know, I'm good and saved now, you know, and I've been good and saved for a long time. But in the world, we have a saying called word is born. And let me tell word is born. I'm trying to keep my cool tonight because what's about to happen has never happened in the history of our church. All right. You better know that this is a God thing. I said you better know that this is a God thing.
Those that are sewing that $50 seat, just jump on your feet. Let me see who you are. If you need to swipe, thank you, Pastor Kathy. Thank you, Elder. If you need to swipe tonight, you can do that as well. We have, I believe we have swipe capabilities tonight. If you're doing Cash App, it is dollar sign MC MC150. Did I get it right? NB at the end. I was close. Let me try it again. Dollar sign MC Kata. Thank you, Jesus. Sorry, y'all. Dollar sign MC MC. 150NB. Okay, those of you that are doing Cash App, dollar sign, MCMC150NB. Okay, if you're writing a check, make it payable to MCMC. Just, you know, just don't let it bounce. Okay, amen. Praise the name of our Lord. Amen. I just need to say that in the sanctified church tonight. Amen. We'll wait next week till you get paid if it's, amen. All right, is that all right? I know God is good. Tearing up the church account, amen. Well, let's come and give tonight as unto the Lord. Thank you, those of our leaders and pastors and deacons that are sowing. Thank you, Elder Clark. That does some more of you that are going to partner with us tonight. Thank you, our bishops and apostles are standing tonight. Those of you that said, I don't have the $50, I want you to get $49.99. I got a lot of pennies. Look, there go one. I got a bunch of pennies to give out tonight. But by your very best tonight, let's give that some to the Lord. Can we do that? Amen. Let's rest to our feet. Everyone stand to your feet. And I'm going to ask you to be led out by our ushers at this time. And I'm going to put you in the hands of our ushers as we have a selection for the musicians. From the musicians. second amen we're going to receive two offerings we're going to receive the church offering now then i'll come back for the speaker's offering in just a moment is that all right amen come on from the leading of the ushers at this time
to the Lord for the speaker. I'm going to make it. I'm going to give another 25. I'm going to make it. 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 Now let me say this. Tonight, we have an awesome man of God. He's not a fly by night. He's not a pimp. I don't hear nobody. We got pimps in the church. Amen. He's not a fleecer. All right, church. He's not a hireling. He's a man of God. All the way from New York, somewhere up there. Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, somewhere up there. Bronx. And he got on the bridge, came down the turnpike, got off exit nine, came down Troop Avenue, and here we are. And I want us to be a blessing to him. He is in covenant and fellowship with our woman of God. And tonight, she asked him to come. And we want to help bear some of the bulk of the responsibility. We don't want this to be only on our mother tonight. But we want to help undergird that. So I'm going to ask you to get an offering, something tangible, something tangible that you yourself would like to receive. And let's bring that as unto the Lord. Is that all right? Can, can y'all help me tonight? All right. I'm going to put you back into the hands of the ushers. And we're going to come back one more time. And this is for the preacher tonight it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right it's gonna be
short make from our goal to want to make to deduct another 25 make. when we give another 25 so we're 75 make. short from our goal and it will be where we need to be tonight can you help me with make. that if everybody can get two five three ten dollars amen whatever you have tonight we just can't take ebt that's the only thing we can't take tonight you can take me to the store and swipe but we can't swipe it tonight i'm gonna make it 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 such a didactic man of God with us tonight, the person of Apostle M. Maurice Garland, all the way from New York, amen, bringing us the word of God is our homilist and so our, none other than our first lady, Garland, is going to come and introduce this just formal, but and after that, Brother uh, Pastor Coleman give us uh, something tonight, and then we're going to stand on our feet and receive the man of God. Give God a praise, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Protocol has already been established. Um, my husband, he loves God simply. Um, he loves God so much. Today's actually his 50th birthday, and he decided to come and be with you guys. Amen. So I'm sure he is itching, itching to get up and give you guys the word that God has placed in his heart. He is the overseer and the founder of Judah Assemblies in our church is the Greater Bible Way Cathedral of Deliverance Ministries International. So if you give him a few moments, he will give you a word. Amen. God bless. Happy birthday to the apostle. Amen. Praise the Lord. I, I, I thought we was done singing and stuff. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. Um, what you at? Amen. Thank 
you, Jesus. You know the pollen. Pollen don't let you be great no more. You can't even sing high no more because of the pollen. Y'all just pray that God heal us. Amen. From these allergies. You're the center of my joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. Oh, you're the heart of my contentment, hope for all I do. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. Oh, Jesus, you're the center of my joy.
clap your hand and give the Lord a praise. Why don't you open your mouth and shout hallelujah. Come on, lift your voice and shout hallelujah. Oh, you can do better than that. Open your mouth and tell him thank you. Come on, open your mouth and tell him thank you. Now tell him thank you very much. Hallelujah. He is the center of our joy. Amen. We thank God for being in this place. You may have your seat on this evening. Amen. This is a home away from home. Every time I come, I feel like I'm at home. Amen. And so we never take it for granted for the invitation. We thank God for Apostle Brenda Lumsey. Come on, let's clap our hands and say, Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much for the invitation. And to my co-laborer, amen. And the person of Bishop Wayne L. Johnson. Come on, let's clap our hands and salute him today. It's a homily, y'all. A homily is only eight minutes. So I'm only going to preach for eight minutes. But I'm going to talk just for two or three. Amen. Mother Lumsey called me a couple of weeks ago, and she said, son, I need you. And you heard my wife say, today is my birthday. And uh, I said, what you need? She said, this need, I need da, 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 da. I said, all right, we're going to make it happen. Because when mama called, it don't matter what you got going on, you answer. And so my wife planned this big event on last night and everything, and she got something else planned for tomorrow. But what we did is we kind of interrupted what we had going on so we could come see about mama. Amen. I told y'all I'm 50 today. I look like I'm 25. But some 50 years ago, my grandma told me love is what love does. So I'm here today because I love your mother. Amen. Amen. To our candidate on today. Amen. We, 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 we catechized her earlier and she did a phenomenal job. Amen. Amen. She did a phenomenal job. Amen. And so I'm looking forward to what is to come because what's coming is better than what's been. But let me just parenthetically put this in perspective. It's not a separate ministry. It is the bilingual ministry of this ministry. All right. For those of you watching, you know, we're not doing something separate. There's no separation in this. We're advancing the kingdom. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's go to the word of God. In the book of Philippians, the third chapter. Book of Philippians, the third chapter. Very familiar passage of scripture. Amen. Very familiar passage of scripture. Philippians, the third chapter. And verse number 10 says that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made comfortable or conformable rather unto his death. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore as many as be perfect, be thus minded, and in anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. I'm kind of here twofold because this is the 44th church anniversary as well. Amen. And so I'm going to preach to the church and I'm going to preach to you. Amen. So for the next about seven minutes, if you give me, I want to talk from the subject. It's time to move on. Would you touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's time to move on. Come on, touch your other neighbor and say, neighbor, oh neighbor, it's time to move on. Father, in Jesus' name, we come now, God, to tell you thank you. We thank you, dear God, for this preaching opportunity. And now, God, as I decrease, I pray that your Holy Spirit will increase. Send your anointing that would make preaching easy. Have thy people to see less of me and more of thee. Allow me to speak with clarity and with power. 
God, that the devil would be horrified, your people would be edified, and God, that you would be glorified. Get the glory out of these next six minutes, oh God, and we'll give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And then, Lord, there's one more petition that we ask of you, and that is that you would let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name, if you believe it, clap your hands and say, Amen. 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 It's time to move on. It's time to move on. Uh, back in the 70s, 77, 78, there was a sitcom that came on, and uh, the name of the sitcom was called The Jeffersons. And uh, the theme song for The Jeffersons, when it came on, it says, And we're moving on up. We're moving on up. We're moving on up to the east side. We're moving on up. We're moving on up. We finally got a piece of the pie. We're moving on up. We're moving on up. Yeah, uh, but before the Jeffersons came into fruition, there was another show that was on called All in the Family. And on this show called All in the Family, there was an old white man. They called him a bigot. His name was Archie Bunker. Uh, he didn't care for us kind of folk too much. And, and so what happened was uh, there was a couple there, uh, George and Weezy Jefferson, and they bought a house next door to Mr. Bunker. And Mr. Bunker got upset because he didn't like the fact that he had us kind of folk living next door to him. And so he didn't like George, and George didn't care for him either. But you know how women are. The women got along, Wheezy and Edith. You know, they would be friends and cook cakes and all that kind of stuff. But George said to himself, he said, Wheezy, one day, I ain't going to have to hear that bigot's mouth. One day, I'm not going to have to live next to this Archie Bunker because the God or somebody has something greater uh, for me. And so he was determined that it did not matter what Bunker thought about him or, or how Bunker felt about him. He knew that something greater was about to happen. I told you my subject is it's time to move on. I need you to understand that uh, where you sit now is not where you're going to sit a year from now because as time goes on and time progresses uh, we progress to go forward and so I, I read this scripture uh, to let you know that there's a lot of things that you have attained in life. There's a lot of trials and tribulations that you have overcome. There's a lot of uh, situations that you have been in but because you sustain uh, the test of time and God has you here for this appointed time now it's time to go forward would you touch your neighbor and say go forward yeah uh, you don't have to stay in the same place that you were because when God gets ready to move you you've got to move and I I, I came in this afternoon and uh, while we were catechizing uh, sister Rolone she was very nervous and she sat in front of us and she she had butterflies in her stomach and she didn't know how to act or react I should say and I, I told her I said the best thing uh, uh, that's going on for you right now is what you're feeling right now uh, because you're going to feel that for the rest of your life. Uh, the moment that the butterflies stop and, and you think that you've arrived is the moment that you need to quit. Uh, and I want to tell you today that it does not matter what your circumstance or your situation is. God is ready to move in your behalf. Uh, and so all the years I watched and read her bio how she served ministry after ministry and did work after work and I need you to understand that it come to the time in the place that your labor was not in vain. And I know sometime you might have been discouraged, but I heard uh, the songwriter say, be not dismayed, whatever be tied. God will take care of you. You all have to just keep on keeping on. And Mount Calvary has been around for 44 years. That's a long time, almost as long as I am old. And so I'm telling you that 44 years, it's been some ups and some downs, some trials and some tribulations. Some have come and some have gone. But the fact that we're still moving on says that God's hand is on the ministry. Uh, would you touch your neighbor and say it's time to move on? Uh, we don't want to get stuck in the seat of do nothing. And 44 years ago, uh, as I was listening to them talk, said the founder had a vision that he wanted a bilingual church. Uh, uh, we didn't give up on what he had in the vision. Why? Because although it took 44 years, God is bringing it to pass. Sometimes you've got to labor and just wait. Touch your neighbor and say, wait on God. Uh, yeah, because he may not come when you want him, uh, but he's always on time. I need you to know uh, that when you get to the place where you can say, God, I'm living for you, for you are live and for you are die. I'm going to do whatever you'll have me to do, even when things don't seem like they're going my way. God, I'm yet going to stand. Mount Calvary 
and you stood on the wall and you did uh, what God had told you to do. You built a beautiful cathedral and, and you keep saving souls. You got a wonderful food pantry. So God said, now is the time that I'm not just going to speak English, folk. I'm going to uh, speak some Spanish and the, and the Puerto Rican and the, and the Dominican. Everybody's going to begin to come in. Everybody knows how to say hallelujah and everybody knows how to say Jesus uh, because that's a universal language. Uh, but there's some words that they cannot understand or they cannot comprehend. And, and so what he did is he sent laborers in that will work. Uh, now don't you get upset because he sent her in and she started working. Uh, what you need to do is start working too. Uh, touch your neighbor say it's time to move on. Uh, 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 you can't sit on your seat of do nothing and think that God is going to be pleased with that. And the songwriter said please uh, be patient with me. God is not through with me. Yet Mount Calvary I'm here to tell you after 44 years God is not through uh, with you yet. It's getting ready to get greater and what's coming is better than what's been. You have to understand that uh, the hand of God is on this ministry and the woman of God has allowed us to come together just to give him praise. And so what I want you to do is say, I'm getting ready to move on. Uh, I'm not going to sit here like before. Paul said, although I have attained and apprehended all of these things, all the accolades, all the degrees and everything that I've gone through. Uh, I've learned that it doesn't make no difference uh, because I don't worry about what I've done in my past, uh, but I'm pressing toward the mark uh, for the prize of the high calling of God uh, in Christ Jesus. Uh, before that, he said that I may know him uh, in the power of his resurrection uh, and in the suffering. Uh, I'm here to tell you, Pastor, you're going to suffer some things. But the Word of God said, if you suffer with him, you shall reign with him. And just like he got up, you're going to get up. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm getting ready to move on. Move on. Move on. It's time to move on. Yes. And so you've got to understand that even though we're in this place right now, we're going to continue to move on. The songwriter said, don't stop praying. The Lord is nigh. Don't stop praying. He'll hear your cry. For the Lord has promised and his word is true. Don't stop praying. God will answer you. So you've got to keep praying, Mount Calvary. You've got to keep praying, Pastor Alona, that God will send them in. And they're coming in by droves. We're speaking English now. We're speaking Spanish now. But I told her earlier, I hear the Russian coming. I hear the Greek coming. He said the Italians are coming. Would you open your mouth and say, they're coming. They're coming, they're coming. But we've got to be in place and be ready to move on. Songwriter said, I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I'm onward bound. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. It's time to move on. We've been sitting here long enough. We've been sitting here long enough. Now we're going to move. I'm pressing on. Pastor, it's time to move on. Don't become complacent after you get your vestments, after we hands on you. Don't become complacent. Still work. Continue to move because in that you'll see the blessings and the hand of God. I'm moving on. I move from here to there. I move from there to there have ministries all over the East Coast, up and down, Baltimore, Maryland, Washington, D.C., Virginia, New York City, upstate New York. God is getting ready to do something great. Mount Calvary, you ain't seen nothing yet. And I heard the Lord say it took 44 years to get a bilingual ministry. Oh, oh, oh. But what he did in 44 years... It'll take him 44 months to do the next one. If he can do it in 44 months, he can do it in 44 days. If he can do it in 44 days, he can do it in 44 hours. If he can do it in 44 hours, he can do it in 44 minutes. If he can do it in 44 minutes, he can do it in 44 seconds. 
All you've got to do is be ready to receive. Would you touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's time to move on. And what you going to do is what you want God to do for you. He did it in the next 44 seconds. It won't be long now. You don't have to tarry long. Because you tarry long enough. And now it's time to reap the manifestation. It's time to move on. We're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. I want to encourage you on tonight to know that this is just the beginning of what God has for you. The best is yet to come. What's coming is greater than what's been. You're going to go through some stuff, but in the midst of your going through, keep your hand in the hands of the man that's got the world in his hand. He looked out on nothing and said, let it be. And it was. And when they counted you out, he said, not so. I heard they called you Pastor Elect. You wasn't elected. You were selected. Because even if they didn't like it, God said it. So it don't matter what you think. I'm going to say that. It don't matter what you think. Because she's not elected. She's selected. We elect presidents. We elect government officials. But God selects. Huh? The people elected I'm getting happy, y'all. We got some stuff to do. But touch your neighbor one more time and say, I'm moving on. I'm moving. I'm moving on. I'm forgetting about all that crap in the past. I'm forgetting about everything. It's a new day. It's a new season. We've survived the worst. And now greater is coming. It's time to move on. God bless you today. I'm done. That's my homily, y'all. I told y'all, give me. Oh, oh! Hallelujah. I Would you touch yourself and say, I'm selected? Come on, encourage. Say, I'm selected. Yeah, I know my past don't look like you thought it should, but I'm selected. I had to go through the things that I went through in order to get to where I am. I'm selected. And he didn't count me out. You don't like it. But God loves it. It's time. Time to move on. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God, we are ya. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We're moving on, Zion. We're moving on. We're moving on, Calvary. We're moving on. I'm talking to you in Facebook world. We're moving on. Even in Facebook land, touch yourself and say, I'm moving on. I'm tired of sitting on the couch watching church. I'm going to come out to the house of God where I can experience his glory. And the glory shall return. But you've got to be in the place to receive it. It's time to move on nothing wrong with social media but there's nothing like coming together to have a wonderful time in the name of the Lord amen hallelujah oh God we thank you would you clap your hand real fast and just open your mouth and give him praise Yes, Lord, it's time to move on. Hallelujah. Amen. God, we thank you. We're getting ready to go into the act of ordination and installation. 
we're going to have the presentation come from our assistant pastor Briggs amen at this time Marcella Roland as candidate for pastoral leadership of the MCMC Bilingual Church at 150 Troop Avenue, New Brunswick, New Jersey. Sister Roland has been a Christian for over 20 years. She is a devoted wife, mother, sister, aunt, and friend to many. Sister Roland has held several positions in ministry. To name a few, she has been pastor's aide president, deaconess, intercessory prayer leader, as well as MCMC, new beginning pantry leader. Sister Roland loves God, her family, and she has a heart for the bruised and the broken. Mm. She is proven to walk worthy of the vocation in which she was called, according to to Ephesians 4 and 1. I present Minister Marcella Roland for a pastor of the MCMC Bilingual Church. Can I get an amen? <laughs> We have received the report and review of Marcella Roland, who has been found to be of high morals and sound Christian character. She possesses the necessary gifts and grace, and we believe that she is duly called and qualified to serve in this capacity in this ministry. If there are any valid reasons why this person Ms. Marla, Mar Roland should not be elevated to this position. Let it now be known. We ask you, people of God, to declare your assess to the elevation of Sister Marcella. Do you trust that she will be by God's grace worthy to be elevated to the office of pastor. Yes, worthy. Thanks be to God. Do you uphold her in her ministry? We will. Amen. 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 My sister, do you believe that you are truly called by God to do the ministry of pastor? I do so trust. Amen. Do you believe in one God, creator, redeemer, and sanctified? And do you confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior? I do so believe and confess. Are you persuaded that the scriptures of the Old and New Testament, as interpreted under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, convey the word of God, contain all things necessary for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ, and are unique and authoritative standards for the church's faith and life. I am persuaded by God's grace. We be faithful in prayer, reading and studying the Holy Scriptures and pursuing 
the knowledge that will make you a stronger and more effective minister of Christ. I will with the help of God. Do you promise to be faithful, fulfilling the duties of your calling among the people committed to your care to preach and teach the word of God and the faith of the church to assist in the celebration of baptism and the Lord's Supper to assist in exercising pastoral care and leadership and in the spirit of Christ to defend the church against all doctrines contrary to the word of God. I do so promise with the help of God. And now, my sister, you have been chosen by God and the people have affirmed their trust in you by acclaiming your elevation, your election. And no man take this honor unto himself, according to Hebrews chapter 5, verses 4 through 6. A pastor is God's holy a pastor in God's holy church is called to be one with the apostle in proclaiming Christ's resurrection and interpreting the gospel and testifying to Christ's sovereignty as Lord of lords and King of kings. You are called to guard the faith, unity, and discipline of the church of God to celebrate and provide for the administration of the oracles and, uh, and the new covenant, to assist in the ordination of elders and deacons, and to be faithful in the governance of the church. With the official board, you will share in the leadership of the church throughout the world. Your heritage is the faith of patriots, prophets, apostles, martyrs, and those of every generation who have looked to God in hope. In your joy will follow him who, come, who came, not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. As pastor, you will Will you encourage, encourage, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. As pastor, will you encourage and support all baptized people in their gifts and ministries, nourish them from the rich, riches of God's grace, pray for them without ceasing, and celebrate with them the oracles of our redemption? I will, in the name of Christ, the shepherd and the apostle of our souls. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord. Consecrate me now to thy service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let my soul look up with a steadfast hope, and my will be Come on, draw me nearer, draw me Hallelujah. 
Father, we come now to tell you thank you. We thank you for this thine servant. And now, God, as we consecrate her, O oh God, unto your service, O oh God, anoint her afresh, O oh God, from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Hallelujah. Let the oil run from the crown of her head down to her beard, even to her skirt of her shoes, oh God. We ask that you would just let it run, let it flow, oh God. God, we anoint her ears, oh God, that she can hear you clearly. God, we anoint her ears that she can hear you clearly. Speak, Lord, for your servant here. With God, we anoint her eyes that she may see clear vision, clear vision, God, for the ministry, oh God. We thank you now, God, for this elevation. We anoint her hands, oh God. And as she goes forward in ministry and she lays hands on the sick, you said we lay hands on the sick that they shall recover. And so God, make her ready. We anoint her belly, oh God. Stir it up in her now. As Paul told Timothy, stir up the belly that is within you. Do it now, God. A fresh anointing, oh God. Breathe on her that she will never be the same after this day. And God, we anoint her feet. We anoint her feet, oh God. We anoint her feet, oh God that she may carry this gospel and wherever she goes she will carry the gospel of peace God let the devil be horrified let the devil be horrified even in her shadow let the devil be horrified anoint her afresh oh God make her a servant oh God we thank you for this woman of God and now God as we anoint her oh God we ask that you would keep her in perfect peace keep her mind stayed on you make her ready for the work that she might perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. These are all of the blessings we ask in Jesus' name. If you believe it, clap your hands and say, thank God. Come on, open your mouth and say, thank God. Come on, say, thank God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You make all things new. Yes. Classic. This is the garment worn by the priest. Most of them have 33 buttons going down the front. And this is the garment that lets us know that this person is a spokesperson for God. Amen. And so we're going to vest her now in her cassock. The cincture is worn around the waist of the priest. And is 
often referred to as the towel that Jesus had girded himself with when he washed the disciples' feet. And so we're going to adorn her with this cincture as well. It says, I surrender. All to Jesus, All to Je I surrender. All to him, I freely give. This is the tippet. The tippet is a scarf that they wear around the neck. It normally bears the insignia of the organization, the fellowship, the church, and any academic achievements that she may have accomplished. And so you wear this on the outside of the surplus or on the outside of the rocher. And so now we will adorn her with her tippet. Now she's fellow yokesman of the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is the zacchetto. The zacchetto is a small cap that is worn by the priest and it goes on the top of the head on the skull. It's shaped like a skull. And the reason why they wore this is because it got cold in the temple. And the worst place to catch a cold is in your head and in your feet. And so they wore this so they would keep getting sick. And you know, when a baby is born, they always tell you to cover the mold. That's the very sensitive part. And so we cover her head with this vaquetto that she may carry this gospel and not become sick, but begin to carry out the work that the Lord has called her to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're not going to put this on her today, but this is a pontiff collar. It says that she's yoked for the gospel of Christ. We wear these not for form or fashion, but this says, for the gospel's sake, I'm willing to be headed. Put my head on the chopping block. And so she has one on already, but she'll wear this at a later date. But she does also have this. This is her pectoral cross, and we're going to ask her chief apostle presider 
to now adorn her with the pectoral cross. We wear this not as a form of fashion, but we wear it, and when we adorn our civic attire, we wear it on our left breast, and when we're in our choir dress, we wear it out. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. Amen. I want to present to some and introduce to others for the first time in the city of New Brunswick, New Jersey, at the Mount Calvary Missionary Church, the bilingual pastor of the Mount Calvary Missionary Church, Pastor Alone. Come on, somebody say, Gloria a Dios! We thank you. Amen. Pastor Roland. She's just going to walk around and greet the people. Come on, celebrate. Come on, celebrate. Celebrate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. says certificate of ordination 
And he gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the equipment of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the building up of the body of Christ. This is to certify that after satisfactory examination regarding Christian experience, call to the ministry, personal qualification, and educational qualifications, Marcella Rolon was duly ordained to the Christian ministry by the Mount Calvary Missionary Church of New Brunswick, New Jersey on this 14th day of April, 2023, upon the recommendation of a duly called council. Amen. And we have the, uh, the Cassandra Kelly, who's the church clerk, Apostle Brenda Lumsey Hicks, who serves as the pastor here, senior pastor, and yourself, Apostle M. Maurice Garland, senior, who served as the moderator of the council. I want to sign the credentials, and then we're going to present them to her. And then her first state of being the pastor of the bilingual church will be to serve us with communion. Amen. history in the making, y'all, and I'm glad to be a part of this history, hallelujah, amen. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's Sinners plunge beneath that flood, lose all their guilty stain, lose all their guilty stain.
and sinners plunge beneath that flood lose all their guilty stain Amen. Let us pray. Gracious and heavenly Father, we thank you, praise you, glorify you, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for these elements, Lord, which we're about to receive, Lord. Turn them, Father God, from the physical, Lord, to the spiritual, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for allowing us to partake, Father God, in this supper right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Those of you who would like to partake in the communion with our newly installed pastor, we ask that you would stand right now. Those that would like to partake in the communion, we ask you to stand, face the walls, follow the directions of our usher that's in the back. Those of you who would like to partake in the communion,
on to you, the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me in the same way after supper. Lord, I thank you all for coming out. Hallelujah. Oh, I see my kids. Kids, Ebenezer kids, my kids, stand up for a minute. My Ebenezer kids, thank you so much for coming out. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. You don't know how much this means to me. I thank God so much for the support. I thank you guys. This is a higher calling. Somebody said that. Who get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Whew. And they say it's like, what did Justin say? It's like going to a funeral. Whew. But 
I'm ready for the challenge. I love my Lord. I love the Lord. So I am ready. I am ready. He's prepared me for such a day as this. So once again, I thank you all for coming out, family, friends, for the support. I thank God. And I'm not going to be long because I know you guys, it's, it's late. So I just want to thank God. I thank God for my apostle. I thank God for the bishop. I thank God for the pastor, the bishop. I thank you. I thank them all. I mean, it was a long week. And I thank God that I made it. I made it. And I hear the best is yet to come. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Amen. And I also, ooh, I want to thank my friend. He's my mentor. He does help. He is such a, a, an honor to have him as my husband, Louis Roland. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And I thank my family, my beautiful daughter, and my family for sort of support. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Oh, gracias. Le tengo gracias al, al, al Señor por el esposo mío, que el amigo mío, y mi compañero. Y le doy gracias por él. Amen. Y también por ustedes que siempre me están apoyando. I thank God for them as well, Pastor. They always, always support me in everything that I do. So I thank you so much for your support. Amen. Amen. So let us dismiss. Everybody, please stand. Let the church. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We praise you. We glorify you. We thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for each and every person that is here, Lord. Father God, I know, Father God, there's an assignment for each and every one of us, Lord. But we thank you, Father God, on this day, Lord. Father God, that you made it possible, Lord. I thank you for Reverend Lumsey, for his vision, Lord. I thank you, Father God, for the man of God, Lord. I thank you for the woman of God, Lord, that believed in it, Lord. And I thank you, Father God, that as we continue and celebrate 44 years, Lord, I thank you, Father God, for a rebirth on this day, Father God, for a new season, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, once again, Father God. I pray, Father God, that as we leave this place, Lord, we do not leave your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen to God. Those of, those of you who brought gifts, I just brought something to say to Pastor Roland that we celebrate and we appreciate you. She's going to stand right here. Please come up and welcome her, celebrate her. Whatever gift or whatever you brought for her, please come. All has spoken. Let the church say Stand, stand right down there. Go with God and he'll surely go with you. Go with you.